Matt Lenehan, Boxing Social in association with Forged Irish Stout, Empire Fight Store and Freebets.com. Delighted as always to be joined by Michael Conlon. Slick, it's been a while. <laughs> Bastard. It has been, it's been a while. First, uh, first time I've actually spoke to anybody um, yeah. since my last fight. So, yeah, it's been a while, mate. Well, first off, um, we're going to harp on about negative stuff from that. I know, obviously, that night didn't go as you wanted, but how are you enjoying sort of, you know, getting a bit of a release from boxing? Um, you've got a lot going on with Conlon Boxing. You've had a good show, obviously, at Ulster Hall. You've got one coming up with Kurt Walker headlining. You made some important signings. I know you're managing a couple of fighters now. Have you enjoyed taking that bit of a step back and not being bounced straight back into another camp kind of thing? Yeah, it's been great, mate. Um, I've enjoyed my time off so far. Uh, it's been nice, you know, but it's been hectic too because you're very, very busy in the state of things and uh, the phone never stops, the phone's always going. So it's been good. Um, I've been around a bit, you know, over over in Orlando last week with, with Paddy McCrory, uh, a few weeks before Lewis Crocker in Belfast. You know, so it's been nice. It's been it's been something different to be on, be on the, the other side of things. Has it shown you a little bit about, because I know all you fighters, you're like, you know, this is my life and you don't always see maybe... I don't want to say an end game because I know you, you not, maybe not know what you're going to do next, but when you think about maybe when you stop fighting, you're still going to be involved in boxing. You're still going to have such a big handle on things. You've seen it, and you? How busy you've been since that, since you were last in the ring, just whether it be signing a fight, whether it be dealing with promotional stuff. Um, does it sort of give you that bit of thing of still going to be still going to be around? And yeah, well, like when, you're, when your life is boxing, it's very hard to get away from it, whether you retire or not, or whatever happens you know you're still probably going to be involved in it or watching it in in, in some sort of context anyway so um yeah you know it's, it's been it's been just a different a different look absolutely look you're here to support abbas um i know that this interview maybe will go out tomorrow or now so um yeah it's not a reaction to whatever's going to happen but got, got a tough fight against sam eggington we know what sam brings to the table abbas just signed this new contract with wasserman i mean you, you're someone who's been very close to him over the years i think this is now sort of his time to make that next big step i think this is in my opinion his coming out party um sam's a fantastic fighter very very tough very durable and comes the win every time uh, and comes the fight so um i'm expecting you know some fireworks in there but you know, it's one I expect a boss to shine in, and uh, I have a feeling he, he gets Sam out of there. And I think if he does, that's a huge statement. 100% when I spoke to a boss, um, not yesterday, the day before, he was like, this could go early. Do you see that when you think of a bass and maybe his technique and the fact that Sam likes to come forward? Because you know how Sam fights. So I'm going to start flicking you at Jab and Dancing around the ring. So he's never done it. I can't imagine him doing it now. Do you see that maybe later on? <sighs> Who knows? Who knows? I, 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 think, I think it goes a little bit. A little bit later than, than very early. I think it goes maybe mid rounds the you know, nine ten maybe, I don't know. Um but I definitely do think he gets him out of there. I've known a boss now a long time. A, a, a lot of years I've we've trained together, um but I've known him from way back in the amateurs and stuff and you know he's just a, a very tough, very skilled and uh hard punching opponent to the to, to be against. So I don't envy any, anybody in the ring against him. Hundred percent. Um Kurt Walker coming up, um, Conlon Boxing, uh, end of March, uh, first title fight for him. Looking forward to seeing him as well. Someone else who I feel is on the cusp of making another little bit of a step now, obviously Olympian, um, he's ready to now kick on with his career, gets an opportunity at a title. Looking forward to seeing him back, Ulster Hall. I am, um, I'm looking forward to a big performance from Kurt. It's a year now he needs to start kicking on, you know, he's not getting any younger so he needs to start pushing on this year and, and, and I believe he will, this is his first fight of the year, it'll be a title fight, sorry, second fight of the year, I forgot he fought at the start of the year. Um, he didn't get much notice, he was, nah, <laughs> he was kicking he had, off, he, he was a nutcase he was fighting as well. He had nine days, nine days notice and uh, he wouldn't have done what he had to do but now he's had a full training camp, um, his first belt on the line and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a big performance for him. 100%. Right, look, we've got to come on to you um, in terms of personally, and I know you've, like I said, you've had that extended period of maybe not being in the media, discussing it, and look, I mean, who can blame you? You know, you know what it's like, kind of thing. Um, didn't go to plan in Belfast. Yep. Um, have you sort of had that time period now to sit, reflect, and I don't mean make decisions about what you're doing next, because um, I know that everyone's asking and wants to know the answer to them questions, but what's it sort of been like for you from end of that fight you're getting out of the ring to to where you are now 
I mean, to be honest, the first, the first bit of it was, was tough, you know. Having to, to swallow the, the pill of losing is, is always hard. Um, but if I look back on it and I look at preparation and, and everything, timing and all that there, there's plenty of reasons I could, I could sit and point and say, but I, I don't need to. Um, I lost, and I lost to the better man on the night. So I've just got to take some time. I'm still taking time. Um, reassess everything and, and see what's next. And whether it's to continue or whether it's not, I still don't know. So I'm just enjoying life, and, and, and that's that's the most important thing. It's probably the longest break I've had from boxing uh, in my life. Never mind just in my professional career, in my life. So it's been nice. So you've been boxing. I think we did the interview at the New Era gym. I think when Pedro originally came over and said, I've been doing this 25 years, like total, forget professional, amateur, as a boy. Um, has this break been a bit of a, has it been a bit refreshing for you? Because like you said, even if you've won, lost, whatever's happened, you've always had a little bit of time out, then it's like, what we're we doing next kind of thing. Has it been nice to not have that pressure of, I don't have to put a timeline on making a decision whether I carry on, whether I stop, whatever I do. Is it, is it, has that been has it been nice not have that pressure? It has, it has, and uh, the good thing about it is when you don't have the rush to kind of go back to the training camp, you don't really eat and binge and your and your weight doesn't shoot up. So I'm actually quite trim still, and uh, obviously training for a marathon too. So um, doing a lot, um, a, lot, a lot of running, a lot of running, but ah, uh, it's 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 different. You know what I mean? Um, boxing's a fucking is a long game anyway, and it's a tough game anyway. So the little bit of Rest is always important, and you know this is, as I said, the longest race I've had. So it's been nice. I know you're obviously someone who's full of pride, and you've put on some incredible nights throughout the years. Um, I know you've sort of said you don't know what you're doing, but you know when you look at what you've done. I'm not saying this is a reflection time either, by the way, but because you've had some, you've had some astonishing nights, haven't you? When you really think about it, what you've done. <laughs> I've done things that probably 99% of the boxing will never do. You know what I mean? So, have achieved things that 99% of the boxing will never do. So, if you say like, if you were to finish now, would you be proud of your career? Oh, I've had a great career. Have I achieved what I wanted to achieve? Maybe not. Um, but there's still time if I, if I do decide to continue to do that. But yeah, I've, I've had some fantastic nights, some believable atmospheres, some things that some fighters have never experienced. So, I'm, I'm, am I pleased with things? How are things have played out? Not so much. Yeah. Um, could have played it better, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I think when you obviously you take a loss like that, I know you were f- fully focused and fully confident going into that fight. Um, one thing I did notice, um, you sort of the reaction you got. You've still so many fans who are like, don't worry, get back on the horse. And I know they say that from a good place, not a, we just want to see you keep going, going and going and going and going. Um, and you've still got your, your whole, your, your name and everything holds so much weight in the city. Has that, has that sort of been a bit of a comfort knowing, you know what, it's, it's quite nice knowing I've got all these fans still who are, you know, behind you. Because let's be, let's be honest, the, the, you, you, every athlete, whether you do good, bad, you get trolls. And it's, it's, it's irritating because, you know, these people a lot of the time, We'll never be in front of you to say these things, but have you taken comfort in some of the support you've had? Oh, it's been amazing. I have a fantastic fan base, and I'm always very grateful for them because no matter what, win, lose, draw, they're always there to support you and, and they're always there to pick you up. So I'm very, very grateful for that. And uh, who knows, the, the ball might still roll. I don't know yet. I don't know. So um, that's the good thing about it. You know, what I mean? just, just enjoy your time where you have it. You had a chat with, as well as family, I know we don't have to go into details, we had a chat with family, I know you and your brother are close and you're well sort of heading off Conlon Boxing now and that's taking off. Um, have you had a little chat about it and have they sort of given their sort of opinion and things? Obviously I know there's sort of two different aspects, there's the boxer's mindset, which Jamie's well aware of, and there's, I'm your brother at the end of the day kind of thing, and you've got a family at home, kids. You had all these talks, I suppose. 100% and... My missus, my kids, and my my daughter the most is like, nope, you can't retire. There's no, there's no retiring. You need to keep boxing. She go, she went crazy, started crying when I says, oh, I think, I think that's enough. She's like, no, you're not allowed. Um, but Jamie, Jamie said both. You know, he, like he, I understand his reasons. If he says, listen, time to finish. And if I want to finish, no problem. But also, he says he understands the reasons. If I say no, I want to keep going. And there is reasons why I would want to keep going, and and points I'd want to, you know, settle and fix. So. Um, yeah, I've spoke to everybody, and you know, I'm happy. I'm happy with, you know, their opinions. They're, I'm not offended by any of them, whether they're good or whether they're bad. Um, yeah. There's, there's both for and against, and and from everybody for and against. So, um, yeah, it's all right. Well, look, I think we'll leave it there. Abbas is going to be having this main event 
not not too far off now. Um, Mick, look, it's been a pleasure to catch up with you. It has been a while. I know we've spoken between sort of off camera, but good to see you back. And yeah, we'll uh, keep us updated on your future. You too, mate. You too.